All right, guys, we are on the way to my brother's house, and he just recently hit me up saying he's been experiencing so much paranormal activity in his house. So who's he gonna call? Not Ghostbusters, Rugbusters. So you already know we're about to do paranormal investigation in my brother's new house and actually get some answers tonight. My brother does not do well with ghosts, so we just pulled up to his house, and we're about to get to the bottom of it. Make sure you guys drop a like, hit that subscribe button for these haunted videos, and let's go catch some ghosts, baby. We also have a special guest joining us tonight tonight as well. Gotta get spooky. Hey! Already. Already. First haunted adventure for you, right? Yeah, I'm excited. This is how you know it's her first adventure. She said she's excited. I'm not gonna lie, as scary as it is, it's one of the most exciting things for me. The things we've been going through are like, there has to be something here. Take me to the one place in this house where you guys have experienced the most. For sure the room. Is D book haunted or is he chilling? If anything, he prevents the ghosts from coming because he's so good at basketball, <laughs> they're scared to guard him so they don't come. So the master bedroom, what happens in here? We were laying in bed, it was like midnight, we went to sleep. At three in the morning, I wake up because my dog, look, I'm gonna lift the blind up so you guys can see what's out there. Right here is my backyard. It's pitch black out there. You can't see. Bro, you can't see a thing. Bro, yeah. not to mention the windows are um, tinted in a way, the lights don't work. So like, we never like enter or exit from this door. I woke up because I heard Booker. Jasmine was still sleeping, but this is what he was doing. So look how thin the blind is to the wall. My dog somehow came here and went behind the blind, but he wasn't barking. It was the scariest thing. He was sitting here. No way he wasn't barking. And this is all I heard. So he was scratching at first, and then he was like, he was like, bro. <laughs> he had to demonstrate it. What is he staring at? It's pitch black, he can't see a thing. After he was growling and scratching at the door, he literally just takes a seat. It was like someone was out there like controlling him, like telling him to sit. He was like staring. Then the TV turns on by itself. Can you show them where the remote okay, was? Okay, the remote, the bed is here. The remote was sitting right over here, like on the chair. Now here's the craziest part. When the TV turns on, I don't know if your guys' TVs do this, but it shows the time in the corner. The time was 3.33. Don't, don't oh. say it. When the TV turned on, obviously Jasmine wakes up. She thought I was pranking her. Booker, at this point when the TV turned on, he came and jumped on the bed. I remember from like haunted videos we've done in the past that something about 333 wasn't good. I looked up the definition, let me just read it. During this hour, creatures such as witches, demons, ghosts, and even the devil are thought to arise at their most powerful self. Once I read her the definition, she starts freaking out. Yeah. A notification pops up on the TV. The TV will turn off yep. in five minutes. It's if like, we don't press okay. We don't want the TV to shut off because we'll go back to complete darkness, but neither of us are gonna get up and pick that remote up. When the timer hit three minutes, Booker jumps on the bed and his tail starts starts like going crazy, he starts growling at the TV and he only does that when there's dogs on the TV screen but there was nothing on the TV screen, like no dogs, it was just the timer like Look at his tail Brian, his tail was wagging like it was about to fly like off crazy. his body. No way. It was wagging like crazy and he was Bro. staring at the TV. It's when the timer hit three minutes. Three, three, three. 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 And I'm then, already taking out the ghost equipment. And I read a lot of comments saying that TVs could be portals for ghosts to enter your oh, room. Gosh. And so it was like <gasps> Holy <laughs> sh! Holy sh! I did not touch that. Why did that go off? No, I pulled that? out the. It's one of the ghost equipment. It's the music box. Oh. It went off and it's off. Wait, shut I up. I just. Man. I literally just took the REM pod out. It was calibrating because when you turn on the music box, it does that. Like shh. Like look. Usually it would be on. Look, this is on. And you see how when I turned it on, the music started playing. The music didn't play. Yeah, it just went. Mm. Anyways, Brian, let me just finish real quick. Okay, go. This is why I believe someone entered the room randomly. Because like I said, when the TV turned on, Booker wasn't barking or anything. And then randomly, like he just got up and started barking after like a couple minutes of the TV being on. It's literally as if someone entered the room. Timer was at three minutes. Then it goes down to two minutes, one minute. It gets to zero minutes. The TV stays on. Guys, the only way the TV will stay awake and not shut off is if you physically press stay awake on the remote. This remote was over there. Me and Jasmine were on the bed and the TV stayed stayed on. So you're saying it's more powerful here. I swear it's more powerful here. And that it stays in this vicinity of the room. Yeah, so guys, this is the REM pod. If it senses anything around the antenna, it'll light up and make noise. So for example, we're gonna set it here. So if something gets near it, it does that, right? As close as it gets, and if it touches the antenna, that blinks red. Just know if that goes off, no one is near it, and something's here with us. Usually I would do all the talking, trying to call the yes. ghost, but this is your house. It would be more respectful if you tried. <laughs> 
<laughs> Brandon told me that he thinks he has a good relationship with this ghost. It seems like a lot of the things that happen, like haunted, paranormal related, are either to my dog or to my girlfriend, Jasmine. Usually, like, he uh, leaves you alone. He's bored with like, you. Or it's like when you leave the room. When I'm laying in bed watching TV, if the TV will be fine the entire time he's in the bathroom, brushing his teeth, whatever. As soon as he leaves the room to go get water or something, the TV will turn black. I do want to set up some cat balls as well. This is one of my favorite things to use in paranormal investigations are regular cat balls that you can get from the pet store that only get triggered by physical touch. Look, you have to physically touch them for them to start like, lighting look. up. See? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the only way they go off. I actually did bring GoPros to where if we're in another room, I'm gonna set it in a room just to see if something goes off while we're not here. Because sometimes they don't like showing their presence when we're all here and there's a camera in here. I don't know, it's always very random, but sometimes they're not shy. If there are any spirits in this house, my brother called me over. He wants to get to the bottom of things. We have set up a REM pod in the corner along with three cat balls on the bed. None of these devices will harm you. We just wanna know if there's someone present here with us. I always get anxiety when I say that. Hold on, I'm gonna set it like. Okay. If there's anything or anybody in this room, in this house, please make yourselves known through this equipment that we have over here. It will not harm you in any way. Instead, it would just let us know that there is somebody here and that's all we wanna find out tonight. All right guys, we're gonna keep the GoPro rolling in here just in case we miss something. Obviously this is the living room. I sit here a lot, I watch TV. One night I was sitting here watching a show on TV. The remote was like all the way on the table. Brandon was in the room with me, the TV was fine. He went to like go talk to Dennis or something and he leaves the room. The TV turns from color to like black and white and then I'm like calling him, I'm like wait, this is weird and then like the TV turned off and then back on and then I called him back in the room and then the TV turned back on and like the color was fine and everything. So it was just weird because like. Like the remote was so far and then you leave the room again I was watching Bravo reality TV and then it changes by itself to horror 24 7 on the bottom it said that. and this all happened recently a month a ago? month ago yeah it's weird that all this stuff is happening to Jasmine and it's when I leave the room because yeah. before you met me you said nothing paranormal no, has ever happened nothing. dude I want to set this up which is the music box this rarely goes off but when it does that means something physically walked by the sensor I think honestly I'm gonna set it here right there okay. it's gonna to calibrate now it's gonna make the noise so now if that goes off something had to have walked past like this so that's the that's okay that was weird but that's not supposed to happen that's actually not supposed to happen that's actually we're not there can you please make that stop <laughs> Lines are moving. Okay, if you can walk in front of the coffin shaped device again. I think I heard some blinds are moving. Listen, listen. Do you? It's the blinds hitting the wall, but we don't have a fan in here. What was that? <laughs> Dude, no, this okay, is bad, this okay. is bad. Come here, let's go back in the living room. Bro, that's not normal. So when and when I told it to stop, it stopped. Yeah, so when you turn it on, it doesn't go like two times? No, look, I can. Oh! Holy! I said I was gonna go towards it and it went off. Okay. Bro, I'm not going towards Try, it. Say it again and then go. If you can walk past that device that we set in the hallway, it will not harm you. It'll just let us know you're right in front of the coffin-shaped device. I'm gonna go grab it now. Don't go off now, please. Bro, what the heck? <laughs> I wonder if the REM pod has gone off or the cat balls. It is overheating right now, by the way. Huh? It's overheating. The camera was overheating, so we had to take a little break. We went and we checked the GoPro from the other room. Nothing went off, so we decided to bring this towards where we actually got some activity. You said that Booker has... Booker done. just sits, like, by that door all the this time. This door right here? Okay. My dog, Booker, always sits in front of this door. One time, he had a toy in here, and it was right here in this closet. He ended up chewing that toy up and destroying it, so now this is all that's left of it. But this was months and months ago when his toy was in here. So I don't know if he... He sits behind this door and waits for the remains of his toy, which is pretty much nothing. It's just a bunch of stuffing. Or if he waits over here because, hey, this is creepy, I will say, Brian, look over you. 
Oh gosh, bro. Yeah, I don't know if he waits in here because he senses something or if it's because he misses his old toy that he destroyed because he's a psychopath. I just want to set this up in the room just in case, you know? If there's anyone in this house, my brother is getting annoyed because you're not communicating with us. So please, let us know that you're present. This is the room that Brandon's dog stands in front of and we just want to know if there's something here. We have a REM pod in the middle of the table and if you go up and touch it, it'll just let us know you're here. I just want to set this up again. I don't have to explain this, but we all know how this works. It's gonna calibrate. The music box goes off at one point, yeah. and then when you set it up again in the same spot, it just doesn't go off. Like, I'm telling you, they they're lingering, bro. They don't like to give you what you want. Okay, I think we should take all this to the living room. Yeah, we never investigated the living room after Jasmine told her story. The cat balls would be cool to just put along the couch. So they'll go off now. Definitely can't miss it if they go off. Jasmine, where do you think we should set the REM pod? I think by the TV. By the, the TV? The TV always is like their main thing. True. Just keep an eye out for the cat balls, bro. Okay, I'm gonna set the range. Okay. Oh my god, it's like- No! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my god! The REM pod! Look! Wait, no. Look, the REM pod's Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait, it's okay. The cat ball and the REM pod just went off in the living room. We know where the hot- Look, look, look! If there's any spirits here, Oh my the god! Cat Holy <laughs> sh! <laughs> what the heck? Those cat balls you guys saw, we tried touching We're them. All the way over here. It's the middle one. <gasps> oh my god! It's the middle one. Wait, babe, where were you sitting when the. I was sitting there. No, you were not. watching the TV. I in that I square swear. right there. Yes. If there's any spirits in the living room. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yup, they're literally here. And we're not even moving to go near the REM pod. Dude, that cat ball's no stop going off. It's at least supposed to stop. Okay, can you make the cat ball? Oh, okay. If you can make any of the other cat balls go off to the right or left of it, or the REM pod, you just go up and touch it. <sighs> Dude, no way. That's Again, so bro, sick. it's when you ask it yeah, to do it something, won't do it, it won't. But when we were just standing here, that's when it went off. It's just when they oh go like that. See, it's when we stopped asking. That is absolutely terrifying. Again, they just haven't gone off. I want to switch one of these cat balls and see if it's the cat ball or the spot. Yeah, yeah. that's so okay. Look, bro, like, I grabbed it at first and it didn't go off. Like, you actually have to do you that. You gotta apply force to the cat ball for it to actually go off. So the fact that it goes off is crazy. Well, I just swapped them. We'll see if anything goes off. Wait, nothing's going off. That means, like, they could have just been in the room and now they're somewhere else. What I'm about to pull out now, the scariest one of them all, the spirit box. This, what it does, it will sweep through radio stations at a fast speed and you start asking questions, it might make out a word. And that's the answer to your question. Here we go. So this is what it's supposed to sound like and then when you sweep like this We're gonna connect it to a speaker because it's low volume But you start asking questions and then if you hear a word being made out that might be the answer All right guys, so we're not doing the yes this method right now We're actually just gonna try to communicate through the spirit box with the speaker so that you guys can actually try to hear some of the words In case we miss it because it is hard to make words out But yeah. sometimes it's very clear if there's any spirits in this house we can communicate with, let us know. Now we're going in reverse. If there's a spirit in this house, what's your name? They don't like cooperating. If there's someone here in this house, you've made some of our ghost equipment go off, we're just trying to ask for your name. The only way we'll find answers is to ask. Clearly they're not cooperating with anything else we ask. Should we do it in your room? Cause look, nothing's gone off since what? 10, 15 minutes probably ago? probably moved to my room. We literally couldn't hear anything with this. Usually you can make words out easily. So we'll put all the equipment here. But I'm also gonna set this facing the door. Watch out, so calibrate without you there. Probably the bed, right? Oh, no, 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 went off. It's going off, it's going off. They shouldn't go off again. Uh uh They're here. Look, they're here. Oh, oh, my, oh my god. god. Oh my god. Please walk away from the device. Alright, now walk in front of it. 
Bruh. It's time to start the Estes no. method right now, right now. Okay. okay, now we know why we stopped getting activity in the living room because they came in here. To anyone that doesn't know what the Estes method is, I am going to go under with these noise canceling headphones and they're gonna be attached to the spirit box. So I'm not gonna hear anything around me. I'm gonna be blindfolded so I can't read people's lips. That's just Dude, crazy. It's going crazy. Wait, should we go towards there it's though for crazy. the Estes method? You go. The REM pod has not gone off. It stops when we're walking towards it. How does that make any sense? I am going to set. Dude, it's like right in front of it. All right, if you can move towards that red dot that I just set next to the coffin shaped device, it will not harm you if you go towards that antenna. The ghost is literally just by the door. Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm just gonna throw them because uh, the cat balls aren't in that range where it should be constantly going off. So let's wait for that cat ball to stop. That silence is crazy. You've made yourself very known with the music box. If you are still here, please let it be known through the cat balls or the REM pod. I've never asked something and it did it for me, never I just don't understand, it's not going off anymore. It was constantly going off. It doesn't like the attention. I feel like, oh, oh, now it does. It's letting you know like, I do like the attention. Can you make something other than the music box go off? Like the cat balls or the REM pod? It likes the music box. Yeah. I think we just do the Estes method. So with these headphones on, when I connect to the spirit box, I'm only gonna be hearing the spirit box, not any questions you guys ask. I'm not gonna see your guys' lips moving because I'm gonna have a blindfold on. And we're gonna see if my answers correlate to your questions. Gosh, I hate this part. I've never done this before in my life, never. And you don't wanna start right now? No. You don't wanna look cool in front of the viewers? You can hear how loud that is, right? So loud. Ain't no way I'm hearing anything you guys are saying. Uh, are you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, and he has a blindfold too. He yeah. can't hear, he can't see. Okay, Brian, can you hear what I'm saying? If you can hear me, who's my favorite basketball team? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. yeah. More. <laughs> okay, so he clearly can't hear us. Okay, is there something here with us in this house? <gasps> oh my god. Holy sh. Oh, what? Holy sh. said Jasmine. No, wait. Holy yeah. sh. I'm not even lying. What You're was the lying. question? Is there someone here in the house with us? And that went, that off, went when off I asked right it. when he asked. And it. then I can't feel the back of my neck. It said, it said, just move. No! In a demonic voice. I'm not even lying. I thought you heard that. And that's why you took them off. I can't hear anything. Guys, so the camera it's overheated right as we started the Estes method. And that just nonstop started going off once the camera turned off. Bro, I don't know what to do. That's so scary. Oh, what the heck? We're waiting for the camera to cool, to cool off and then we're gonna continue. But Jasmine, like, I don't wanna lie to you, but it said jazz. Should I die now? Oh my god, did you like yeah. did you hear that? We don't even have an upstairs. That's what I'm saying. That's was that you? They oh. use these devices to also answer yes or no. Yeah. Dude, know, like there was a sound up there and we don't have enough stairs. Yeah, That's the roof. Up there? No. Camera's good now. I'm gonna go back in. Okay, guys, I'm turning it on. Are you still here with us in this room? Make me. What do you want? Taken. Were you taken? Were you Crazy. Were you kidnapped in the real world? Doorway. Are you in the doorway right now? Here. Oh my oh, god. Oh shoot. Were you the same person that was here that night my dog was barking? Are you a nice ghost or do you mean harm? Unknown. Unknown. Are you here because of us or because of the previous owners that lived here? Run. Run? Stop. By your feet. Bro. No. Bro. Where are you right now? Here. Keep in mind, guys, Brian can't hear the questions we're asking and we're still getting answers. Why are you here? Book. Booker, <gasps> my dog, I call him Book all the time. Do you have something with my dog? Is my dog- More. Who are you here for? Wait, it said attack. Did my answers make sense? Yeah, we said- We said um, like, who are you here for? You said, it said book. Like no, Booker. no. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, by your feet. And we said, where are you? And then you said here. Bro, I just heard attack. When I hear stuff like that, I feel like I have to take these off. Do any of you guys want to try this? I'm good personally, bro. I kind of want 
too. That was going off. That like one was going literally off. Literally nonstop. It's just nuts crazy. that when we stopped this, like we turned this off, that hasn't gone off. Okay, whenever you're ready, if you ask questions from that close, she might hear. Don't be far. I need to touch you. Brian, okay, here, hold my hand like this. I already asked a lot of questions, okay, so I think okay. you should. If there's any spirits in this house, let us know if you're here right now. Are you a boy or a girl? Sometimes it's hard to make the words out. I don't. I don't. Is that you walking in front of the music box the whole time? Are you here for Jasmine or Brandon or my dog, Booker? Good morning. <laughs> Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? There's no There's way. no way. Out. No, 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 no. Are you stuck? Run. No, I said run too, no? Yeah. Are you stuck? All right, camera overheated again. That's like the fourth time. I know this kept going off, so I moved the cat balls on the bed right there. I'm just gonna set the REM pod where the music box was, like around here. And then I think I wanna set the music box facing the bathroom and the door is open, so let's see. I'm sick and tired of hearing that jingle. All right, to get some more answers, I'll go back under the SS method again. Jasmine, how was it for the first time? Scary. I'm going in. Okay, so babe, we still haven't got a name. Can you please give us a name? Or why are you here? Are you still in this room? Here with us. Can you make the music? Pain. Pain? Are you in pain or do you want to cause pain to us? Oh, Holy sh Wait, 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 what? wait, okay. Bro, I heard like a very, very clear breath. Like, wait. And then right when the walls were creaking. Hard. No. The roof. You hear the sweeping? I heard it go silent and heard. <gasps> and I said, are you in pain or do you want to cause pain for us? And it went, <gasps> there's nothing up here. It's no stair. We don't have an upstairs or anything. So all the sound we're hearing is so weird. Okay, here we go. Are you a good spirit or a bad spirit? Do you need closure on something? 15. Is that your age? Are you 15 years old? Yes. Oh, oh you're 15. 15. What happened? Why are you like passed away at such a young age? And earlier Brian said take it. What is Run. It? Now. Run. Run. Hurry. Hey. Holy Hey. Bro, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It constantly said run. Now. Now. Okay, bro. Every time okay, you guys I'm... put it on, it said run. Yeah. We should get out of yeah. here. Did we get answered? I mean, it's 15 years old. Earlier you said taken. taken. So what if it passed away because it got like kidnapped? Did we or say boy or girl? Did it say anything? It didn't say and it wasn't answering the name, but I will say when we move the music box away from the doorway, it hasn't made sound once. So I don't know. That's bro. weird, right? Why did it say Jasmine though? That's the weird Maybe part. it's a girl. Maybe the name could be Jasmine or sometimes they mess with you. All I know is that we're not sleeping here. <laughs> As we wrapped up the Estes method, something weird happened to Jasmine. So we finished the video and I was packing up and then Jasmine's finger just started bleeding. The I finger mean, started bleeding. You didn't hit it on anything? No, I just came in the bathroom. We were just talking. He's regretting calling <laughs> me, bro. Look at this dude. He has this Why is your finger, finger bleeding? I gotta go, bro. You guys stay here. All right, Noah, we can dip. Just as I thought the night was over, you won't believe what happened at three in the morning when I was sleeping. My doorbell keeps ringing. Lola is freaking out right now and it's non-stop ringing like listen i have a security guard at my house and i called him because it was non-stop ringing and he said there's no one at your door dude what do i do what the heck it's just non-stop going off and i hear the doorbell just non-stop and i'm like bro what's happening like i thought people were spamming it what the heck bro what is it malfunctioning? It's gotta be. Oh wait, okay, stop. Oh my gosh, I was so scared, you don't understand. But it makes it even scarier that no one was even at the front door. All right, have a good night. Ooh, that was scary, okay. At least everything's okay. Guys, this was an intense investigation. There were so many scary events that happened all in one night. Let us know in the comments down below if you saw or heard anything that we possibly missed. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you all with the next video.